Ok, since we have all the needed concentrations, we can proceed to the step of dialysis tubes. So we pre-soak them in water, which means we just put them in water so that they become smooth and soft. We will need to tie one of the sides of these dialysis tubes. And for that we are going to use the usual tether. Make sure that you adjust it firmly. Ok, after everything is ready, we can proceed to filling up these dialysis tubes. So we start with the concentration 1.2 moles per liter. So we take the pipette gun. Place the pipette. and transfer the solution into the dialysis tube. Make sure that you prepared the beakers where you are going to put these dialysis tubes beforehand. After filling the tube, you will need to tie it on the other edge so nothing leaves through the holes on the edges. After clipping this side, we are going to weigh this dialysis tube and write down the mass for further calculations. So put it inside the beaker for now, bring the scales, dry the dialysis tube before that. and determine the mass. Don't forget to label your beakers. Be very gentle not to tear the dialysis tube. After drying it, we are going to place it on the scales. Remember to clean your bench when it's dirty. Turn on the scales, wait until the level is zeroed and place your dialysis tube on the platform. 
write down the mass which is 6.38 for the concentration of 1.2 moles per liter put it in the beaker having labeled it pour water to 200 milliliters make sure that water covers the whole dialysis tube the same preparation of the dialysis tube will go for 0.8 and 0.4 moles per liter concentrations pipe it up appropriate volume of the solution take the dialysis tube open the open edge of it and then transfer this solution inside after few uses of the pipe gun it will become natural for you to pipe it stuff up and down the excess liquids can be transferred to the appropriate beaker bag so clip the open side dry the dialysis tube and using scales determine the mass in this case you will need to zero the level wait until it shows zero Okay, so for 0 0.8 concentration you have 6.38 grams of the dialysis tube. Label the beaker, put the dialysis tube inside and pour 200 milliliters of water. Now prepare the 0.4 molar concentration dialysis tube. Close the open side Make sure it's dry 0 the level of the scales and place it on the platform so for 0.4 molar concentration the mass is 6.14 grams label the beaker and place the tube inside and as in previous examples 
pour 200 ml of water. Now we are going to prepare the dialysis tube with distilled water inside. It will serve as the negative control for our whole experiment. After that, put the dialysis tube on the scales. So the mass is 5.84 grams. We are also putting it inside the beaker. and pour 200 ml to cover the dialysis tube. Now we are going to prepare three tubes with water to place them in the different concentrations of the glucose solutions. Before we put these tubes inside the glucose solutions, we also need to determine the mass of each of the tubes. The first tube that we are going to put in the 0.4 concentration is 5.69 grams. So we take the appropriate solution and try to dip the dialysis tube so that the solution covers it. This tube weighs 5.61 gram and we put it inside the beaker with 0.8 molarity of glucose.
You might have noticed that the volumes of our solutions of glucose changed from the previous videos. This is because we wanted to make sure that the conditions for all of the tubes are the same. So we prepared more solutions so that we have 200 milliliters in each of the beakers. So the last tube weighs 5.70 grams and we put it inside the beaker with the highest concentration of glucose. We leave all these beakers at room temperature for 45 minutes and, of course, you need to clean the bench before you leave.